Nee, ik wil weer zo de boek. The village that that's involved yes, in all this, yes, and this is something that we are going to sustain. Yes, yes. these criminals must know that you cannot attack police officers, yeah. and we will not allow it. And uh, commander, you must move swiftly and clean up that village. Correct, yeah, sir. because this is impunity of ice water, and it is not acceptable. It's not uh, because these officers, um, their work is to protect life and property, and when you go, you attack them. Now that is an attack on the government. Naja ike iwa juje ha. Nego adwa itu. Nane goka komo share la. Nane goka kodi yoro kana nega da moji re ba ye chali rahi. Nega da moji re na nere di di kali sisi ha. Goti re moji.
the nature of the injury was uh, an arrow that was shot through the knee, the left knee. So the arrow was almost halfway through inside. You can actually see it very clearly on the x-ray. So the surgery had to be a little bit invasive because you couldn't explore the whole part. And there's something called a patella, which is a small bone right at the knee. It had also been torn. So the, the Dr. Chege, the orthopedic surgeon, had to go in, explore, repair the patella, and also um, just fix, remove the arrow as well. He's very well, he's, uh, he's happy, he's actually uh, talking, he's feeding well, he's back to his normal feeds, so he's recuperating very well. So that I had mentioned that he will start now rehabilitation from tomorrow. Uh, from the doctors and from the, the way it looks like, it doesn't look like it was poisonous. I want to say that uh, these criminals can run, but they will not hide. Two suspects have already been arrested and they have been arraigned in court and uh, the prosecutors have successfully been allowed to detain them for further investigations and they will be charged with appropriate offenses including attempted murder and other serious uh, 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 offenses. I want to say that since this war started we have seen a tendency of people, criminals, attacking our officers. Uh, on 13th March 2024, Inspector Simon Mwangi Karioki of Dori Police Station in Rarieda Siaya was attacked and firearms stolen. Again, uh, in March, a father and son are, are attacked and injured uh, a chief in Nyamira County. Again, in March 2024, two chiefs were assaulted at Kameli and Chepsile locations by goons during a crackdown. Again, last year in September, four police officers were injured in an, at an illicit liquor den in Ladore to St. Gishu, and uh, drunkards pelted them with stones. On February this year in Rumunut Police Station, the deputy OCS, Prosper Wandera, was stabbed to death by Changa Reveras. That President William Ruto has given us very clear instructions from myself, Professor Kithura Kindiki, the IG, and all regional and county security teams that the issue of drug abuse and illicit alcohol must be dealt with once and for all and this is a battle that the government must win what we have seen in Georgia is an attempt by criminals to attack police officers so that they can give up on this exercise I want to assure them and assure the people of Kenya that this has just strengthened our resolve to fight I want to assure our police officers, wherever they are, that the government will protect them, is fully behind them. And I want really to thank all our police officers in the entire country, from the Inspector General of Police, the two Deputy Inspector Generals, all the county and regional security teams, all the non-commissioned officers, down to the constables, the rank and file, for the good job that they are doing. And I want to assure our officers that uh, the Presidential Task Force on police reforms was presented to the president, the recommendations were accepted and they are being worked out. And from July 1, their terms of service will be reviewed by 40% progressively in three years. Again, we are looking at insurance for our police officers who get injured, injured in the line of duty. Again, those who lose their lives in the course of duty, we are having a package that will take care of their families so that they don't suffer. So let me assure our, our police officers and administration officers across the country that the government will take care of them and we want to urge them to proceed with this war without any uh, interruption, without being uh, discouraged, and this war must be won. And let me reiterate on behalf of the president that further as the meeting that was held in my office with our security uh, commanders from the regions and from the counties. This war must be won and there is no stopping until this menace is eradicated. It may take one year, it may take two years, it may take three years. I want to confirm for the time President William Ruto and I are in office, this is a continuous fight and until we eradicate drugs from the midst of our children, until we eradicate illicit brew from the midst of the population, this war will be uh, pursued relentlessly 
and there is no giving up and there is no letting off and I want to say impunity will not be allowed.